is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. In this edition, I'm going to be talking about Bill Maher, the comedian who has his own show on HBO. He's a comedian uh, and he just makes fun of stuff. And I found a lot of folks on the internet, especially people that are in the Arvine community, were dismayed, despondent. Their feelings were hurt by what he said. He's a comedian, just like David Chappelle, you know, and all types of comedians out there, you know, they make fun of people. They make fun of themselves, they make fun of certain communities, they make fun of whatever they can to get a joke. And people laugh. The great majority of people laugh. They even laugh at themselves because they find a little bit of that in themselves or their partner, okay? So apparently a lot of folks in the van life community, uh, people that are YouTube influencers or produce videos, uh, you know, what do you call it? Uh, people that produce videos for YouTube. What's it called? Content creators, that's the term. Content creators were rather upset <laughs> at Bill Maher. I didn't get that upset. Cause I, you know, you know, it, it's a, he's a comedian. Turn him off, click move on okay there's a lot of people out there that aren't going to agree with you my two neighbors don't agree with me i don't go to the same church as they do i don't vote for the same person they do the list goes on and on and that's the harsh reality of life in the united states okay if we lived in a totalitarian state you know the government would tell us what to think <laughs> but we don't we all have individual uh, philosophies concepts of what's good what's bad what's fantastic okay so Bill Maher made fun of the uh, van life are saying they're, they're basically slacking off they're not doing too much people that produce these videos these uh, content creators were just basically uh, hanging out doing nothing all day and it was a piece of cake they're waste and they should get real jobs okay. the, the crux of what he said is that they should get real jobs as if being a comedian on HBO was very different. He's a content creator. He creates videos. He has a staff that writes jokes for him. They know what the current, uh, uh, you know, uh, topic of the day would be, and they write jokes about it, make fun of it, make fun of the, this politician, that activity, this political intervention, and whatever. They make fun of it, and that's perfectly fine in the United States of America, where we have freedom of speech. Okay. But of course, the whole point of van life is to film your travels and put them on YouTube. You're not a hobo, you're a content provider. <laughs> Let other people work stupid jobs like nurse or teacher. You figured out a way to monetize fucking off. <laughs> yeah, you and everybody else in your generation. According to the LA Times, content creators are the fastest growing type of small business in the US. By one estimate, over 50 million people worldwide now consider themselves to be online creators or influencers. When we used to ask kids, what do you want to be when you grow up? They'd say, firefighter, astronaut. Now most 60 year olds would probably say, I want to be Instagram famous, bitch. <laughs> If you don't like Bill Maher, don't watch him. That's all I say. You know, I watch him once in a while and I laugh. Other times I go, man, that guy's an idiot. That guy's stupid. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's how it goes. Sometimes, you know, once in a while, he says something that's uh, relatively sentient. Other times I think he's a babbling baboon, okay? That's how it goes with comedians, okay? So, uh, so a couple persons, a couple individuals on uh, YouTube have been complaining about them saying, hey, uh, you know, I work hard for my money. I'm an, I, I, you know, producing these videos. I wake up at six o'clock in the morning. I go to sleep at two o'clock at night, six days a week. I work super hard. Yes, you do. You work very hard. It's because that's how you pay your bills with your YouTube channel. I'm on the uh, other end of the spectrum. I don't pay my bills with my uh, YouTube channel. I make very little money. How much money? Tiny bit of money. A little tiny bit of money there. That's it. That's all I make on YouTube because it's my hobby. I'm not an influencer. I'm not doing this waking up at 6 o'clock. In fact, today I woke up, I think, at 11 a.m. <laughs> 
because I was, you know, I was tired. Last night I was up quite late. So, uh, you know, I have a different perspective on the production of videos for YouTube. This again is my hobby. I am 69 years old, going on 70. I'm married, comfortable income, comfortable investments, have a nice home. So, you know, have two cars practically paid off. My next, my uh, truck's gonna be paid off uh, next month after five years. That's pretty good, huh? And then my wife got a new Subaru and she's uh, gonna finish that off in another couple years. We're doing pretty good. We have a nice house. We're living, you know, we, we make this much money for what our expenses are this little. We save a lot. So we're very lucky. We don't need a YouTube channel to pay my bills, period. This is just a hobby for me. But there are other individuals out there living the van life, living the fifth wheel life, living the Airstream life, living the high end life or the basic life that need the income to pay their bills, okay? They pay their bills. You know, I don't pay my bills. I, you know, I don't pay my bills. If I depended on YouTube to pay my bills, I would be living in a cardboard box, uh, you know, right there in front of the uh, homeless shelter. I'd be living there. I mean, man, it's cold. <laughs> but that's not the case. I'm doing okay. So uh, that's my commentary. I just wanted to give my uh, two cents for what it's worth. And of course, there's other individuals that give their two cents, another person give their other two cents. Please leave your kind and super friendly comments regarding the subject below. You know, just leave your comments below and I'll check them out and other folks on this channel have a chance to listen to your words of wisdom. And of course, all the words that you have on the subject are super wise and super brilliant and super valuable. We know that, okay? And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you have the chance, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash JMM I have a, a, a few folks uh, who are patrons. Muchos gracias. Muchos, muchos gracias. And I'm here in Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Uh, again, thanks for checking out uh, RV and Travel Adventures, my modest site on YouTube. I don't need the money, seriously. This is just a hobby. It's an opportunity for to me uh, when my wife's uh, off and running somewhere out of the out of the state, out of the county, that I can pass some time producing some videos, hopefully of interesting content, hopefully of valuable content, hopefully a uh, content that takes advantage of my almost 70 years of experience and existence on this wonderful planet we call Earth. Okay. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.